Almost two decades after a conviction for murdering his wife and unborn son, Scott Peterson wants a retrial. His defense attempting to prove Rochelle Nice, also known as juror number seven, failed to reveal she had been a victim of domestic violence while pregnant. That is clearly information the defense would have wanted to know prior to her allowing to sit on a jury because Lacey Peterson, the victim in this case, was pregnant at the time. An evidentiary hearing now underway, putting Nice on the stand on Friday with Scott Peterson present in the courtroom. The juror agreeing to testify only after she was given immunity from prosecution from the statements made at the time. Nice saying she did not consider herself a victim of domestic abuse or directly fear for the safety of her baby. Peterson's attorney asking about a restraining order against a boyfriend's ex-girlfriend she filed years before, in which she wrote she really feared for her unborn child. The goal here for the defense is not just to say that Miss Nice committed perjury, but that her lack of candor greatly affected the jury selection process. Nice also questioned about a separate incident that led to the arrest of her boyfriend at the time, now assuring the court it was her that hit him and not the other way around. Any regrets at all about leaving out those details? Because of an earlier problem with the jury, the court had already changed Peterson's sentence from the death penalty to life without parole. Now he's hoping this latest issue will give him another chance in court. Now, the hearing will continue next week with Peterson's former defense attorney, Mark Garagos, expected to be called as a witness, along with other jurors who participated in the trial. Kristen, Peter. All right, Guad Venegas, thank you.